girls love money, and that's what I'm trying to do. Luxembourg is a failed society. <laughs> Today, my brother stole a car. He stole a car from Switzerland and he made me drive it across two international borders to Luxembourg. And now I don't know what he's going to do. I didn't steal a car, I rented a car from Geneva Airport and they told me that all the convertibles have to be returned to Geneva. You cannot return them anywhere else in Europe because they need the convertibles in Switzerland. I don't know why people have to drive around the Alps with a convertible. So when I rented the car, I told them I'd return to the airport. I decided to change, I changed my mind and decided I had to come here to Luxembourg. I called six and told them I was going to come to Luxembourg. They said that's not allowed. I said, well, what happens if I do it? They said, you can't do that. You have to return to Geneva. That's technically stealing. It's not stealing the car if I give them the car back. So I'm gonna drive to Sixth in Luxembourg. I'm gonna hand them the keys. I'm gonna walk out. And I can't get arrested for stealing because I ain't got the car. I've given it back to the company. Perhaps in the wrong place, but I still give it back. If they arrest you, I will die. No one can do shit. No one can do shit to me. I'm the underboss of this Holocaust. I've seen you get arrested four times. I'm an international criminal. I've seen you got you'll get arrested plenty of times here. Listen, six fucking rental car are like a conglomerate. They're huge. They've got from America to fucking Hong Kong. I've moved their car from Geneva to Luxembourg. I'm sure they'll negotiate the situation and get it back. Fuck them. I fucking tried to be reasonable on the phone and said, no, I'm dropping off in Luxembourg. You can't, you can't. Like, bitch, I can do what the fuck I want. I don't listen to women. Well, we're not. Look, I don't listen, back. listen. I don't listen to the women I have sex with. So why am I gonna listen to the woman on the phone? Some idiot on minimum wage trying to control my life. You can be a 10 out of 10 beauty queen with big ass titties and you can't control my life. But I'm gonna listen to the fucking whoopee who won't even suck me off. No thanks. I have a bad feeling that the uh, office is in the airport. Well, it's an adventure at least. Now, do we have anything in this car? Trying to hide from me. We're hiding with staff. We're reprimanding. We're about to receive. Trying to hide. And here's your car from Switzerland, my fuckers. Bye. You know, physically hold me. The only man who would take you physically hold the box is the key box. What if we just put the keys in the key box and left? It's an option. This feels like I, I, I want to confront them and tell them what I did. Look upstairs. Otherwise, yeah. Key in the box. I'm out of that. Scared you, Andrew. Bullshit country is they're afraid of me. What if I land them actually wanted to bring a fucking car? They knew I was about to tell them the reality of their own lives. What is this shit? What day of the week is it? They're pussies. They knew I was about to tell them. I stole your car from Switzerland, but I'm giving it to you so you can't call the police. They should be open, actually. Key box. Fuck them. You can't put the fucking keys in keys the key box. Keys in the key box in the wrong country. Banned sixth from accessing money to my bank. Never do business with them again. Let's go. Key box. <laughs>
your six. Into your fucking car. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Do you miss me? English only. So today my brother got fucked. What he did was he thought he was clever and he wanted to get a t-shirt and a pair of pants washed. So he took a taxi to the laundromat yesterday, dropped it off, and the taxi back. 100 euros. 18 euros to get the clothes washed, then did the same taxi one today. 218 euros to wash like 50 euros worth of clothes. He could have just bought the fucking clothes again. It's ridiculous. And he's not even ashamed of himself. He's pretending it's a good thing. Terrible. Our brother's wrong. Luxembourg is actually officially the most expensive place I've ever been. Here's my taxi receipt. It's 72 euro to go six kilometers, which is about 10 minutes to the laundromat. It's 72 euro to come back. And it was 18 euro to wash it. And then I'd go collect it again, which was 72 euro and 72 euro to come back. So we can do that math off the top of my head. What's 72 times four? Really? 144, come on. No, that's 72 times two. What's 72 times four? Oh, 288. 288. 288 plus 20. So it's cost me 308 euros to wash a t-shirt and a pair of trousers that cost me maybe 40 euros. Not including the drinks we've had here, the coffees, uh, we had dinner, we didn't do anything extravagant, but in total, including the hotel rooms, I've spent 6,000 euros in two days in Luxembourg, just sleeping, eating, and washing some clothes. If you can accuse him of being with girls, most of the time you're right, but this time you're wrong. This girl he did not see. The, the this girl. she told me that uh, they are together. Because oh. everyone wants to be with a Tate. It's normal. Every girl wants to be with the king. No, but not everyone. Yeah, everyone. Oh, not you. everyone. She's acting bad while she's here in my <laughs> hotel room having sex. With <laughs> exactly. It's just like, so no act tough. So. Last night it was all Mare Pula Varog. I didn't say this. Mare Pula Bine. <laughs> so, no, this girl he didn't do. No, he's, he's innocent. This girl, no. Okay, I trust him. Thank you. Good. I will never speak to you sorry, again. Sorry, baby. Yeah, it's fucking right you're sorry. There we go. Vindication. That's how we do it, Mike. Do you know what I mean? Because I told you, if I fucked her, I would say, yeah, I fucked her. Up the ass, upside down, doggy style, on the floor. I would tell you everything. I never fucked her. I met her twice. Proved it. I said, how many times do we meet? Only two? She was, I think yes. Haha. -ha. But we didn't sleep. I know it wasn't. Yeah, so. I said, I know it too. Fish? She's just mad though. She's apologized, but she's mad that she's wrong. Isn't that crazy? Because if, she if, told me no, no, no. you she, she, were with Mike, sheep? Mike told me he fucked your mom. Six months. Yeah, Mike, Six Mike told me he fucked two. your mom 20 Babe. years ago, so he might be your dad. Daddy you got, Mike. You got to call yeah, big, big Daddy, daddy Mike. <laughs> <laughs> big Daddy Mike. Yeah, Big Daddy Mike. I don't care what people say. No, this is women. Okay, this is, if the, you don't care, that's why. No, this is a lesson about women. After that. This is a this is a lesson about women. Let me tell you. If this girl said yes, Tristan, you fucked me, she would be happy that she's right. I didn't <laughs> fuck her, and she's angry because she's wrong. She's angry. I did not fuck this, this girl. Like, this is a, no, no. Here's the answer. This is how we, every, no, no, here's the answer. Next time I'll fuck her. I'll yeah, fuck every, her tomorrow. Every, every time she says, "Did you fuck this girl?" Fuck them. Okay. Next time you say, "Did you fuck this girl?" If I didn't, I will fuck them first. And then, then you're always right, baby. Yeah. Then you're always right. Yeah. You're mad that I didn't fuck her because you're wrong and I'm right. Is that how women are? These people, I'm glad our relationship does not have these problems. Because me and you, we're different. We don't have none of these issues, do we, baby? I don't like you. Oh, except for the pool above. Then things change. Oh, I don't want to be near you. Oh, baby. That's not what you do at night. At night, you know what she does? She attacks me. Koala bears me. I can't even move, I can't even breathe. Today she grabs me so tight. Than yesterday. Oh, okay. That's good. We'll leave it the reason we're even in Luxembourg in the first place is because this is where a supercar rally begins. Now, every fucking year, Andrew drags me on one of these stupid supercar rallies where we start in one city and go somewhere else in Europe. This one we've actually helped organize and ends in Bucharest. But if you don't know this about me, I have had three serious car crashes in my life. One almost killed me, and one permanently injured my shoulder and finished my kickboxing career. So I am a nervous passenger. I fucking hate sitting in cars when I'm not driving them myself. So me and Andrew have decided on this supercar rally that we're going to flip a coin for who drives at every single stop. I better be driving or I'm going to be complaining a fucking lot.